éviter quelques corrections de détail. Upholding the tracking provisions of the new Patriot Act, the Supreme Court yesterday reversed their long-standing precedent on Americans' right to privacy. Will this further embolden the anti-government resistance? We're taking your calls now. Josh and Springer, go ahead, you're on the air. All I can say is there are a lot of people out there who are already taking up arms to defend liberty. People of all ages are answering the call. Believe me, you have no idea how many hidden cells there are out in the back country. So are we going to be seeing more anti-government violence? I think so. I hope so. Somebody has to yell boo to all the sheep. People are nothing but sheep. It's the same old, same old. Using security as an excuse to establish a police state. This Supreme Court ruling is just another step along the road to fascism. Every time there's a big terrorist attack, like the dirty bombing of Las Vegas or 9-11 in New York, they have a new excuse to chip away at our liberties. What about the growing armed resistance? Is that justified? I think the government is secretly funding them so it can justify more clampdown. You can't believe anything the government tells you anymore. They the Constitution says nothing about a right to privacy. I'd be happy to give up my privacy that means my children will be safer. The sooner, the better. We can't sit around waiting for another city to get hit with a dirty bomb, can we? You think spying on our own people makes us more secure? Don't know about you, but I have nothing to hide. I'll take security over liberty any day. What can be more important than the safety of our children? They are what we live for, after all. Love the show. Rose have a muzzle here. Thanks. So how do you think the so-called freedom fighters from the right and the left are going to react to this ruling? Anti-government backlash is going to pop out in unexpected ways. I think you'll uh, start to see strange alliances between our own homegrown anti-government types and the foreign terrorists. Enemy of my enemy is my ally? Right. And they're cooperating, coordinated, I think, by some shadowy command structure. It's crazy Muslim fundamentalists and Christian soldiers. You know the government has supercomputers data mining everything that's known about everybody. With our right to privacy out of the way, what's going to stop them from tracking our every move? You think the resistors are trying to do something about that? I doubt they can do much. It's too late. The government already has satellites. I heard that your own sister works for Homeland Security. You've got a lot of gall putting yourself out there as the voice of progressive libertarian politics. My sister makes her own choices. She believes in her work, and that's all I'll say about that. This is my show, not hers. It's a sign of the end times. They're going to mark us so they can track us. There's no revelations. Hey, that mark what is the holdup? New head of security. Sticker for the rules. Oh. Just for you. Please step aside. No, you're Please not. step aside, ma'am. You know um, Please I'm step aside, ma'am. Deputy director, and you're making me late for this. Late you're making for. yourself late, ma'am. Please no. step aside. Cynthia. Uh, Eric. Oh, my goodness. Right up in the elevator with me. Sure. Uh, I want to discuss your presentation. Okay, sure. I've invited Roger Osborne to our briefing this morning. Really? Great. Well, let's get started right away. I'll be over since I've got file. Alice, where's my uh, PowerPoint presentation? What about the last Relax. one? Relax. Relax. Everything's already set up for you in the conference room. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. What about Eve? Did she do the grants? Oh, she I said everything's done. And you have 
have three minutes to spare. Here, you left this on your desk overnight. Oh my God, I needed that downstairs. Mm -hmm. Ugh. I don't know what I'd do with that. I know that. Good morning. Hey, no time. You have an important presentation with the deputy director? I do, and I don't want to be late. You know, I wasn't on the list to attend. Yeah, you know, I know that, but um, I, I, I do want you to know that your efforts with um, oh. charts, charts and the, the graphs, yeah, yeah, you know, mm -hmm. deeply appreciate it. Okay? Okay. Fine. Okay. Maybe next time? Yes. Good luck. Thanks, Alice. You're welcome. Ten. Hut. At ease. Relax. This is the rec hall. Is that yours, Bill? It's the best shot in the whole unit. Can I get you a drink, sir? Yeah. I'll have a scotch. Hey, Sam. Hey, Mary. Commander. Bill. You got a diet soda for me back there, Bill? Yeah, right here. Help yourself. Thanks. Any luck hacking into the government's tracking computer? Not yet. They got these wacky firewalls. They anticipate every move I make and they block before I can execute. Well, time's running out for the home team. If we can't get our act together, then the ball passes to Unit 12. Can we find another sort of weak point? Like what? If we can't get to their computers, then we're going to have to go after their people. Captain Norton, can you get into Homeland Security deep enough to find out who's who in that URTS operation? Sure. No problem. In the meantime, Bill, I want you to find out what Unit 12 has planned if they get the order from headquarters. Sure, but you can bet it's not going to be subtle. I don't bet. Get me some intelligence. And that relates back to the core of this profile matrix, the vector analysis of particular trajectories. Does that answer your question, Eric? Yes, thanks. Great. Well then, are there any final questions about the program itself or how it works? You mean you can pinpoint the location of the hacker as well as block him? Absolutely. Given the rate of success that we've had in our trial tests, which were done on a dummy database, but my staff actually started to call me the hacker tracker, hacker whacker. <laughs> so, back to this hacker who's been poking into our URTS mainframe. Mm -hmm. Codename Shoehorn, right? That's him. Right. You're saying if you could plug into our surveillance database, your profile vector algorithm could pinpoint his physical location? Yes. I mean, if we had access to the actual database, I could pinpoint his exact GPS location. Eric, we've been surveilling a militia training camp up in Springer County. I have evidence that suggests that that's home base for Shoehorn. If we can get a GPS on him, I have enough for a judge to issue a Patriot warrant. Well, I'd be honored to help any way that I could, Agent Mercer. You realize, Cynthia, if we catch Shoehorn, it could mean more money for the budget. Maybe raises. Well, then I'm definitely on board. And uh, besides, Eric, uh, I'm dying to take my baby out for a ride in the real world. Okay. Let's get together after lunch. Thank you, Cynthia. Excellent presentation. Thank you, sir. Uh, Roger, can you stand there? Uh, it's Cynthia, can you hold on to? Mm -hmm. uh, Roger, it's pretty clear that Cynthia's vector analysis program has great applicability for the universal resident tracking system. Just the piece we've been missing. I love it when a good plan comes together. Uh, Cynthia, how would you like to be reassigned to work on Roger's team? Oh, I'd love it. It'd be like a dream come true. I thought so. Roger, work out the details. Welcome aboard, Cynthia. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I'll just leave your office where it is now. 
Eventually, you'll still supervise your staff on your other current projects. Well, Eric, to see this as a real promotion or just an increase in responsibilities? We're moving toward a promotion, but let's see if you bring on the bacon. <laughs> Eric, I thought that's what I had been doing. You know, if Shoehorn had actually gotten into the URTS database, uh, yes, you would have... If it wasn't for your fine work on the Universal Resident Tracking System, it would have been rendered useless. Yeah, and you would have been explaining it to Congressional Investigation. Eric, Eric, I, I'm sorry. It's just that, but you know what, I know that the most important thing is to be proud that I'm doing good service for my country. Absolutely, that's the proper attitude. Look, Cynthia, I don't have the authorization to make a promotion right now. But don't worry, your service won't go unrewarded. Thank you, sir. Hi. Hi, Cynthia. Let me show you around. OK. Oh, this is a new control center for universal resident tracking. Fully operational? Almost. We've just finished loading these banks with data from total information awareness. Seeing any patterns yet? The satellite-based tracks are too intermittent to triangulate location. Well, what do you use on the subjects? Ultra-sensitive RF tags? Come with me. You could augment the satellite data with ground-based transponders. We could do that. Like on cell towers. You could, um, yeah. And back here is where we test new configurations. Mm -hmm. The skunk works. Right. We got plenty of data points, but no way to connect the dots. I hope your algorithms can pull it all together. You mean they expect you to take on this big new assignment, in addition to all your other work, and not give you a raise? It's not about the money. Yeah, yeah, it's never about the money. That's right, it's not about the money. It's about protecting a way of life. Mm. It's about enhancing national security and safety for families, you know? Like you and Kara. Okay, okay, save your flag waving for the office. Besides, you know what? It's a really great opportunity. Hey. I can make a real name for myself. You know what your problem is? What? You don't get out enough. I know, Sharon's big party, it's next Friday night. Oh my god, no. Not yeah. that Equinox Mojo thing. Right, every no. year, same time. Come on, you really should Absolutely go with not. me. No. Come on. You go. And me? I'll hang out with Kara. Are you staying for dinner at Sunday? I can't tonight, honey, but uh, it sounds like I'm coming back on Friday. No, you're not, because Why? I already have a sitter lined up. Who? Oh, Julia. Yeah, like See? Huh? Come okay. on. It'll do you some good to get around some normal people for a change. <laughs> your friends are normal. Yeah. Please. Compared to your computer geeks, uh, they're normal. Hey. <laughs> and I'd say, well, it, you know what? It doesn't matter. I, I'm probably gonna have to work anyway. See, that is exactly the problem I'm talking about. Oh. You're turning into this workaholic. Oh, please. Next Friday night at 7.30, I'm picking you up. I don't know. We'll see, okay? Right now I have to go. You guys have a great dinner. Bye. Love you, sweetie. Love you too. Whatever. I'll talk to you later. Work. Bye. What have you got for me? Well, I've accessed their human resources database. And it's shocking, really, how little privacy they afford their own employees. Really. So, what have you got for me? All their time record sheets for payroll are coded by project, so I can tell who's working on URTS. Yes, but I need specifics. I need to know who the linchpin is here. Well, it seems like the same programmer that made URTS hacker-proof has been assigned to a new project with the same suffix code as the tracking project. What are you trying to say? Well, it looks like they moved their whiz kid right into URTS. A programmer named Cynthia Porter. I'll ask Sutton to find out about her. What can you find out about her? Sutton? He found out Unit 12 has an informer planted in Homeland Security. They agreed to share intelligence with us. Where is this mysterious Unit 12, anyway? That's really no concern of yours, Captain. Yes. 
Sir, I was only asking because, well, everyone says that Unit 12 has their own agenda. Good work, Captain. Hey, Cynthia. Hey. Hey, how's it going? Good. How are you? Good. Uh, I uh, hear you got a piece of the URTS project. Who told you that? Everybody knows. Nobody's supposed to know, okay? Well, well, I was wondering if you might have something that I could do to help you. Really? I'd love to be a part of it. Well, who wouldn't? It's our highest profile project. Yeah. Come on, Cynthia. Put what? me in the game. Yeah. Do what? You gotta have something for me. Maybe yeah. some uh, number crunching. Yeah. Hmm? Vector teasing. Hmm? Matrix mulling. All right, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what. If you come with me, I'll um, show you some of the fuzzy algorithms I'm working on. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll let you play along with them. All right. Okay. Agent Mercer tells me your vector analysis program got him that Patriot warranty needed. So now, what have you been able to accomplish for the tracking system? The fuzzy logic algorithms I've just developed, they now work as a self-contained subroutine. Bottom line, we're ready to run tests. Yep. Okay. So who's our trial sample? We don't have a particular population in mind. Eric, is there a specific target you'd like tracked? Well, I don't want to test it on anyone we're really interested in tracking until we know for sure it works. Can't afford any false leads. Well, then why not track our own staff? You could track me if you want. I'd be proud to volunteer. Eve, this part of the project is not about volunteering. No, 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 wait a minute, Cynthia. What? Maybe that's not such a bad idea. <sighs> Department employees are already in our registry. So? And they've implicitly waived their rights to be free from tracking activities. Yeah, but not for Why this Why not? Kind of... Why not go with the whole department? Bigger database, more reliable tests. No, no just it's not. Give it to the staff in my areas. I don't want to involve the other deputies. But that'll give you a couple thousand test subjects. Eric, excuse me. Is it really within the department protocols to track thousands of civilian employees? I don't think so. What's the matter, Cynthia? Something to hide? <laughs> no, of course not. But I do not think that this is what... Yes? I'm sorry to interrupt, but your wife's on line three. She says it's important. Okay, tell her I'll pick up in a second. I think we're done here. Eric, I don't think that this is what I we can... I think we're finished here. They just move somebody else into her place. Eventually, but so much of her vector analysis program is inside her head, it's going to take anybody else a long time to get up to speed on it. You have clearance for the hit from headquarters? Yes. And I have just the man. Who? Mike Wilson. Well, I thought he was killed in that ATF ambush last year. That was Mike's old man, Mike Sr. Mike Jr. and I used to work together out on the coast. We ran all kinds of missions together. Is he back here now? Yes. 
and not attached to any unit since his old man's broke up. I would like to recruit him. Well, normally I would be the one. Bill, he's trained the best there is. He's trained you, Captain Sutton. Captain Norton, I want you to go up and talk to Wilson. He's staying up at Sharon's place. How do you know these people? Well, you know, here and there. I met quite a mix of people when I was working at the Metro scene. I bet you did. <sighs> you gotta relax. You're off duty tonight. All right. Are you leaving the party already? Sounds like it's hopping in there. Yeah, I'm not in the mood tonight. You have a good time, though. You know, I'm not in the mood either. Don't leave me alone like you did last year. That's one. There's a guy here. Good last year. I'm not gonna leave you alone. There's plenty of people that I'll introduce you to. This is Biden. Right. I promised right. her boy. Where are they? They're right. Everybody's searching so here. There's tons of food. You should go going now. Okay, well, I'll talk to you in a minute. Yeah, okay. they're not cold, are they? No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Here's the weekend tracking data to sign off on. Thanks. Hey. So, um, how was your weekend? Not too bad. I, uh, I actually got out of the house for once, and uh, I even sort of enjoyed myself at a party. Good for you. Thank you. How about you? How was your weekend? See for yourself. Saturday's info is on worksheet seven. Sunday's is on worksheet nine. Caucus. Not bad. So Jim says Mike Wilson's holed up here. Oh, yeah? What's it to you? We got a mission for him. Ooh. Well, he's made a nest in the trailer out back. You can go see if he's awake or not. All right. You're welcome. No.
What's the projection? Right on track, Chief. This all looks terrific. You guys are great. What a team. What a team. I love this baby. I'm going for coffee. Come get me if you need me. Help yourself, they're good. No, no thanks. That Eve's a real go-getter, isn't she? Do you ever get the feeling that, that you're being stared at? We're all being tracked, you know that. No, this is something different. This is something creepy. Jim really wants you to come in on this. I don't know. With everything that happened with Dad, this is an awful lot to think about. Don't think about it. You drive yourself crazy. You need to get back in. See some action. It's the best thing for you, buddy. We did make a lot happen, didn't we, Sam? We were on all kinds of missions together. Listen, this is a plum. I, I, I teach this stuff. You've you know, trained no... the very best there is. I know you can handle this. You have a plan? Perfect operations plan. So, how's it coming? Working like a charm. See for yourself. Look at all these vectors. Good. Hmm. What are you thinking? I'm wondering if this is compatible with the individual surveillance files. It's easy enough to test. We could do a database merge and see what happens. I've got the password. They do work together. Of course. It looks like one of our own people crossed paths with a suspect under surveillance. Cynthia? What do you make of it? This is a systems compatibility test. You can't make anything out of it. Hell, you or I could be at a shopping mall when a suspect crossed our paths. Look at the GPS coordinates. There is no mall in that part of Springer County. <sighs> okay. Let's call it a night. We'll clean this up in the morning. I'm going home.
move back to the compound. I don't think that's a good idea. I've got a bad feeling about this. Jim needs me. Well, that's Congress. Well, you know, it's always something with them. They can't tell the truth. Know. You know, it's I'm ridiculous. just tired of it. There's no such thing as job security. No, anymore. they have no idea what. What is that about? <laughs> I don't know. I'll okay. find out. I'm sure you will. I will. identified as a white female wearing glasses, black slacks, red top, and black jacket. You have a green. You have a green. Why do I always have to be the bad guy? It's your turn to be FBI. You want to know why Eve got the promotion instead of you? Well, of course. You know something I don't know? Don't I usually? Yeah. Out with it. What is it? Well, I was talking to Harriet. And? I saw Eve come out of Eric's office grinning like the cat who ate the canary. And? So I asked Harriet, what's up with that? And what did she say? Well, she heard Eve tell Eric she had some kind of proof you met with some terrorist. What? That's 
All I know, you met with a terrorist and now you're off the project. This is crazy. The, the scariest people I talk to are telemarketers. Alice, can you see me fraternizing with a terrorist? Well, of course not. That's why I'm telling you this. If you ask me, this whole tracking thing will come to no good. Okay, you know what? There's something wrong with this. There has got to be some kind of mistake. Well, it just isn't right to nose around in people's private lives like that. You know what? Eric is going to hear about this. What is going on, Eric? Uh, Roger, could you give Cynthia and me a few moments, please? Sure. Buzz me when you're through. It's okay, Harriet. Thank you. What's going on, Eric? Calm down, Cynthia. I am calm. Have a seat. I don't want to sit. All right. Fine. Okay, I'm sitting. How could you take me off of my own project? I didn't have a choice. What do you mean you didn't have a choice? You're the head of it. Exactly. I can't jeopardize this project. Something unfortunate has come to my attention. Exactly what unfortunate thing has come to your attention, Eric? I'm afraid I'm not at liberty to disclose that information. It's classified. Don't make me bust an artery. I heard I was off the project because I was consorting with terrorists. Is that the case or not? That is the situation. Well, obviously, whatever evidence you think you have, it must have come from the tracking data. And obviously, it is wrong. Maybe so. Maybe so? All right, it's probably inaccurate. Probably. But I have to be concerned about appearances, and I can't have the designer of the tracking system pop up in the results as someone who has met with a suspected terrorist. This is ludicrous. This was a tracking test of our own employees. We are civilians. There's no way that you put me at a location with a suspected terrorist unless you cross-referenced it with a surveillance database. Is that what you did, Eric? That is what you did, isn't it? Unbelievable. Did you authorize that? Because that was not part of the protocols of this test, and you know it. Whether I authorized it or not, it doesn't matter. The fact is, yes, there was a database cross-reference, and yes, you were placed at the same location as a suspected terrorist. Now that I know it, I can't pretend that I don't. Whatever results you think you have, they are meaningless. It doesn't matter anymore. It doesn't matter. Your profile has produced a code red suspect vector. Don't I have any rights here? Are you accusing me of something? Should I get a lawyer? Look, I don't want to make this any worse than it is. Worse? So if you make a big deal out of this, it's going to be out of my hands and out of my department, and who knows where it could lead. This is not good for you. It's not good for the department, and it's not good for this project. Well, Eric, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to just sit back and take it? Look, Cynthia, just hold on tight. I'll work it out. You have to trust me on this. In the meantime, you're off the project. I can't take the risk.
Okay. Hey! Sorry I'm late. Late? I was supposed to be there over an hour ago. Yeah, I, I know. I'm sorry. Okay, uh, I already fed Kara. Um, you got some food in the uh, microwave ready to nuke, and I really gotta run. Okay, see ya. What's the matter with you? Never mind. It's a really long story, and I know I, I already made you late, so I wanted to just go ahead. You look like you need a drink. Believe me, tonight is not a good night for me to drink alone. Who said anything about you drinking alone? Hmm? What about your meeting? Look, it'll probably be over by the time I get there anyway. Sorry. Come on, tell me. He's not going anywhere. Be seated, Captain Wilson. You are charged with refusal to carry out your order to assassinate the people's enemy, Cynthia Porter. In her deposition, Lieutenant Mitchell states that you had target identification and isolation when you deliberately put down your weapon and walked away. I got into you, Mike. What happened, Mike? Lieutenant Mitchell spotted the target, Cynthia Porter. We established radio contact with Dr. Leahy, who was our street level tracker. He reported the target was following her usual morning routine. I had her in my scope. We have target identification. We have target isolation. She looked up at me. She looked right up through the scope. You have a green light. Like eyeball to eyeball. Her eyes were looking right through me. I know she couldn't see me from way down there, but it was just like she could. You have a green light. I repeat, you have a green light. Something came over me. I can't explain. You have a green. I can't describe. I'm still trying to figure it out. You have a green. Her face was every face I've ever known. Her face was my own face. How can they do that? Because they can do anything they want. I mean, that's the point of the whole department, after all. Remember, I told you that when you took this job. You know what? When I think about it, this is really all your fault. My fault? Yeah, your fault. I didn't want to go to that party. You dragged me to it anyway, and there, in the middle of all of your hippie friends, there was a suspected terrorist. Well, I guess it's possible that there could have been someone at Sharon's party that Homeland Security might not like How very could you much, do this to me? But that's you know where I the work. Point. This is guilt by association, and that's outrageous. Yeah, it is. 
She deserves to die. This one is evil. She looked up at me, and she looked so familiar. Jeez. But you're a soldier. That should make no difference to you. You know, it's all just people. There's no, there's no system out there. There's no system to destroy. It's all just people, people like us. Because you couldn't pull the trigger on Cynthia Porter, the government's gonna know where everybody's ass is every minute of the day and night. If that's not the system, then what the hell is it? Well, Unit 12 will get their chance now. Don't you get it? They've been itching for the approval to go ahead with their plan. You see, you're so concerned about the damn bureaucrats, Mike. Now watch. Unit 12 is going to blow up a whole building full of them. You didn't figure on that, did you? I, I used to believe in my work there. I was proud of what I did. But this, this just isn't right. So, what are you going to do about it? I don't know. Get a new job, I guess. Oh, so now you're a quitter. Come on, that's not how Mom and Dad raised us. You know the sacrifices they made to do what they believed in. Okay, but I am no missionary, right? You're an insider. <laughs> so? What can I do about it? I, I, I am just a little cog in the wheel now. And now I'm even smaller than I was before. Think about it. There's got to be something that you can do from the inside that will make a difference out here. <laughs> sure. I could let all the hackers break in. I don't know, access all the source codes? How about that? Well, come on. You really want me to spend the rest of my life riding away on Guantanamo Bay? I don't think so. Cynthia, only you can decide the right thing to do. What's happened to us? When I joined the Sons of Liberty, we had a clear set of demands. Making demands. That's reformist thinking. It never works. It's too late to retrace our steps. We have to destroy the system and build something fundamentally different in its place. <laughs> it's like the whole country's on a bus. The crazy driver. We're careening down a mountain road. If the passengers can't get hold of the wheel, we're all gonna go over the cliff. Even if you could throw the driver off the bus, who's gonna grab hold of the steering wheel? What makes you so sure it'll be us? Just look at all the crazy groups that we're in a mixed-up alliance with. Muslim fundamentalists, Marxists, neo-Nazis, anarchists, Christian soldiers. The enemy of my enemy is my ally. It's going to take all the disaffected to tear the system down. The only thing we have in common is our means, not our ends. Just look at us right here. We all joined for different reasons. Sam, you ran a small business, sporting goods. You joined because you were opposed to taxation. And Jim, you joined when they started confiscating firearms. Bill, you once told me you joined to secure the future for the white race. And I joined because I wanted to fight the clampdown. I thought you joined for the same reason your dad did.
Power grid's down again. Where's the lantern? I wonder if one of our units is responsible this time. Captain Norton, where's the lantern? Where's Wilson? Wilson? Where the hell's that lantern? I could have run just now, but I didn't. Let me resign, Jim. I'm sorry, Mike. It's not that easy. Your loyalty has proven unreliable. You know too much. I've paid my dues. Let me walk away. Okay, listen, we've let him have his say. Now let's vote the verdict. I say he's guilty. He admits it. I don't know. Guilty. The verdict is clear. Sorry, Mike. I wish I had another alternative. I have to order your immediate execution. Our perimeter's been breached, sir. How many? Unknown. Multiple. Feds. Raid. Sound the alert. Defensive positions. Last time this happened, it was only a couple of deer. A couple of deer didn't cut our power. What about him? Probably a mole. If this is a raid, we gotta take care of him now. Who's gonna do it? Captain Norton, carry out this execution. And return to your post with all due haste. Captain Norton, now. Comes a time. What? Time for what? You know, it's not like it's gonna help my career. Time to put Kara to bed. I don't care though. The hell came over you up there, Mike. Just tell me what happened up there. What came over you? We've been on missions before. You've never had any problems like this. You've been a rock. You've had the stomach for everything. Now what happened?
And don't give me that bullshit you gave him in there. What the hell happened up there? The system is perverting all the good Christian values, and something needs to be done about it. What's right is right. There's no room for compromise. Turn around. That's deep enough, isn't it? That's deep enough. Now turn around. No. You're going to have to look me in the eye when you do it. Turn around. Look at me, Sam. We got the same face, Sam. I'm not looking at the face of a killer. Neither are you. The least you can do is look at me, man. Come on, Sam. I'm not afraid to die. Come on. Come on. Shoot me. Turn around! Turn around! Turn around! There's no system. It's just people. Am I the enemy? Who's next after that? People should look one another in the eye before they go killing for causes. If I walk out of here, I'm going to do everything I can to stop Unit 12 from blowing up that passport registry building. You got to help me do the right thing. Put the weapon down, Sam. Put the weapon down. I knew I couldn't trust you. Now bury him.
Agent Mercer been briefed? No, sir. He needs to be told about this. Get a call to him. Mercer here. What is it? Sorry to wake you, sir. This is Lieutenant Erickson here at Operation Shoehorn. Captain Weaver wanted me to give you a call tonight. The operation hasn't unfolded exactly according to your plan. There's been extensive unintended collateral damage at the militia compound, sir. Let me talk to Colonel Ellsworth. He's pretty busy, sir. Patch me through. Ellsworth. Bob, what happened? It's wild out here. Some of our boys encountered small arms fire at the perimeter. One of our guys lobbed a couple of RPGs at the resistors. One of them must have hit an ammo dump. How bad? See for yourself. I'll transmit video we recorded a few minutes ago. Okay, receiving it now. Wow. Looks like their bunkers are too close to the ammo dump. The idiots. Well, at least all that firepower won't be used against our people now. A lot of casualties. Well, they knew what the stakes were. And now you're going to have to finish the job. We can't have any survivors. And no witnesses either. Pick up any civilians that wander through the area. I need complete control of this story. Yes, sir. Oh, and Bob. Nice job. This will solve a lot of problems. Everybody's dead. It's just you and I now. Come on, we gotta get together.
Ah, Cynthia. Hey, hey, Jim Mercer. Thanks to your tracking system, we were able to get Shoehorn and his gang. Really? Well, why? Well, what happened? Yeah, we had a successful raid up in Springer County last night. Good work. I should be home by 11. Make sure Kara's in bed by then, okay? No playing checkers until all hours. It's a school night. Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. You know, your goon squad raided a militia camp outside Springer County last night. Yeah, I heard that. There were no survivors. Did you hear that? No, I didn't hear that. Neither will the media. No survivors, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure, Sharon told me. Hey, sweetie. Too. And Mike? Sammy, was Mike Wilson there? God, he was like a son to Jim and me. And Jim? They got him too? I knew it would end this way. I begged him to get out. That's why we split, you know? He commanded the end. He was a good man. He just thought he could fix the world. Some people don't feel real till they're dead. Oh, Sammy. Sammy, what happened? What's there gonna be to say? Oh.
You got a license to fish, sir? Yeah, because uh, right there on my tackle box. How are they biting? Not so good. But there's a 12 inch in here. I'm going to get him for dinner. Hook him up with some tarragon. You must be starving. I'll fix you something. Thanks. These clothes. Mike's clothes are uh, still out in the trailer. You're welcome to. Thanks.
You know your goon squad raided a militia camp outside Springer County. There were no survivors. Did you hear that? We had a successful raid in Springer County last night. Good work. You were placed at the same location as a suspected terrorist. Do you ever get the feeling that, that you're being stared at? We're all being tracked, you know that. So, what are you going to do about it? Get another job, I guess. What's the matter, Cynthia? Something to hide. There were no survivors, did you hear that? Good work. So, what are you going to do about it? Like a little hacker's break in. Access all the source codes. Cynthia. What are you doing here? I'm doing some testing. Testing? What kind of testing? I'm checking to see if any other staff members produced a code red vector. Cynthia, don't rock the boat. You've been cleared. Cleared? Am I, am I back on the project? No, not yet. I'm working on it. Mm -hmm. Now, sneaking around here after hours isn't making it easier. Fine. You know what? I'm finished anyway. Look, Cynthia, I know you have a beef with us. But don't go postal on me Oh, now. Eric, please. I'm serious. You're here unauthorized in a restricted area. Keep your eye on the big picture. Our mission, our work, your work, is extremely important to the security of this country. And I know you love this country as much as I do. Of course I do, and that is why I and came here to... And you wouldn't want to do anything to jeopardize it. Eric, I have always kept the interests of my country first and foremost. And you can rest assured, I always will. Good. Now go home and get some sleep. It's two AM. What are you doing? It's incredible. For weeks I've been trying to hack into URTS, blocked at every turn. Now it seems like someone's left the back door wide open for me. For you? Yeah, for me. Someone knows exactly what I'm trying to do and they've left me an opening. It must be Porter herself. What can you do with it? Well, I posted the URTS source code on the internet. 
Now anybody can make it seem like anybody is anywhere. Good for you. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Except none of it matters if Unit 12 blows up the whole building. What do you care? They leveled your compound, killed all those people. More innocent lives are wasted. Blowing up the building isn't even mission critical anymore. URTS is toast now. I need to get to Unit 12 and try to stop this insanity. Lots of luck stopping it now. Do you know where I can find Unit 12? I do know a guy who's a member of Unit 12. I'll set you up with him in the morning. There's not enough time. Look. Get some sleep. There's nothing you can do about it now. His name is Ahmed, and he works at Crescent News and Tobacco on 14th. You tell him I sent you. Mm -hmm. Oh, and uh, my car keys. Be careful. Okay, thanks. Are you sure you want to do this? Mike taught me that people should look one another in the eye before they go killing for causes. code is out on the internet. My Sector God. Not We're wide open. This Sector can't be failure. happening. Ah, what's going on here? What is... That is not what I said. She cannot, you cannot listen to this woman. No. She is a liar. When I spoke to her, I told her specifically that I was going to see you Tuesday night. No, that is not what I said. No, you cannot listen to her. She is not telling the truth. Hello? What? I need to see Ahmed. He's not here. Later. Yes, I am still here. Excuse me. I really need to see Ahmed. It's very important. Is it about the game, or...? Yeah, it's about the game. I got his money for him. He's at the mosque. Where's the mosque? It's up the block on the right. Thanks.
there's been a breach. URTS is compromised. This is Code Black Widow. I need to speak directly to Central. Well, you go get him then. Yes, I know what happened at the compound. He knows where it is. There's no waiting now. Here to see Ahmed. Take your shoes off. What? Take your shoes off. Understood. Well, what took you so long? What are you doing here? I'm here to settle a score with you. Hold him! Wait, you need to listen to me. I don't need to listen to shit. Put that down! Speak. You don't have to blow up the federal building. He can't be trusted. Don't listen to him. Your RTS is finished. I hacked it. It's too late. We've already placed the explosives. I put the source codes all over the internet. So? Don't even listen to this traitor. I should have shot him the minute he walked through the door. I want to hear this. <sighs> It'll be easy now to falsify anybody's whereabouts. Government tracking is totally unreliable now. You have your orders from Central Command. Don't believe him. Central Command didn't want to take out the URTS this way. We don't have to blow it up. Aren't we fighting the same enemy? We do this not for the computers, but to strike a blow against the heart of the great Satan. Just who is the great Satan? All this, American capitalist, global domination, this spiritually corrupt system? There's no system. It's just people. Innocent people working in that building who don't deserve to die. It's written in the Quran, know that paradise is under the shade of swords. Fight those who believe not in Allah and his apostle, nor acknowledge the religion of truth until they pay with willing submission and feel themselves subdued. And thus shall you do. Had Allah willed, he himself could have punished them but he has ordained it thus. I'm sure you can find some Quran verse to justify anything. It's the same thing with the Bible. I was raised in a family that believed in the Bible. I learned all the verses. I was so sure I was right, I was willing to kill for it. And then I woke up. Mike Wilson woke me up. Just before you blew his brains all over my face, Bill. Well, sir, and is it not written in Surah 532? Whosoever kills a person, it shall be as if he kills all mankind. And whosoever saves a person, it shall be as if he saves all mankind. Please, just call Central Command. That's enough. I don't have to listen to this shit. Stop!
Du lässt da ab. Unit Command Headquarters here. Receiving your call, Unit 12. Have you accomplished your mission? I repeat, have you accomplished your mission? Not yet. A man from Unit 8 is here, saying URTS is disabled. And you may want to change plans. Well, a good and trusted friend just gave me a call on that. Must have been Sharon. Seems we found another way to skin the cat. Our hacker crashed their tracking computers. Stand down if you can. We'll put that plan back on the shelf. By the way, what do you know about somebody named Cynthia Porter? If you say so, we have to take it all apart, put it back on the truck. Orders from high command. No way. Here, tell them what you told me. Hey, all right. Here's your mail. Thank you. Hey, how was your weekend? Oh, fine. Yeah? Took the grandkids shopping for new shoes. Oh, that's nice. And you? Well, nothing that exciting, but uh, I guess you know that from the tracking reports, right? Actually, no reports today. Hmm? Grapevine says URTS is down. Huh. Seems there's a little hacker problem. Really? <laughs> Hey, Eric. What? Eric, what's going on? I think you know. What do you mean? I'm very disappointed in you. What? Oh. Eric, what are you doing? What is happening? Turn her over to the agents outside. Wait, you can't arrest me. I want a lawyer. I know my rights, Eric. Terrorists have no rights. I am not a terrorist. Alice, Alice, call my sister. Yes. Stand by to receive a terrorist suspect. You could be next, Mike. This could happen to all of you. Jim. Cynthia, everything's gonna be okay. I'm Shoehorn. And we're in this together now. 